All right, we're going to begin with faulty parallelism. Don't let the name scare you. All it means is if two or more elements, the elements can be a word, a phrase, or a clause, are in parallel, they must have the same grammatical form. Let's illustrate. First, the easiest one to understand is parallelism in series. Children who study music must also learn confidence, a noun, discipline, a noun, and Oops, to be creative, we need another noun there in order for the three items in the list to be in parallel. Confidence, discipline, and creativity. Let's look at another one. This has to do with parallelism in pairs, where poetry features one, many dashes, and two, capitalizing. Now, many dashes is a noun phrase. We need another, another noun phrase, dashes and how about capitals? Yeah, that'll do it. Let's continue with faulty parallelism. These have to do with the correlative conjunctions. The correlative conjunctions set up pairs, either blank or blank, neither blank nor blank. And the two blanks must be exactly equal. In other words, what is to the right of the first conjunction has to be exactly the same as to what is to the right of the second conjunction. Let's take a look. Nelson Mandela was, and here is our first pair, not only, what do we have? A noun, but also, whoa, now we've got a phrase, was a survivor. We need another noun there. So we have to get rid of the was. Not only a leader, but also a survivor. They have to be exactly equal. Okay, the agent told me, and here's the first relative, either, and what's after the either, to change my flight. Or, here's the second relative, or, what's after the or, rent a car. So the first relative is followed by to change, and the second relative needs to be followed by to rent. What is on the either side to the right of each relative must be the same. Now here are parallel items linked with another kind of conjunction. These are than or as adverbs used as conjunctions. Let's take a look at them. It's easier to speak in abstractions than grounding. It's easier to speak than to ground. What is to the left of than has to be equal to what is to the right of than. Same way with as. In native cultures, to write down a tribe story, infinitive, is not the same as keeping track. What is to the left of the as must be the same as what is to the right of the as. And so we could change either one, doesn't matter. Writing down is not the same as keeping, writing, keeping. All right, well, thanks for watching. And for the other videos on the other five deadly eras, please check out this playlist right here.